So I ran a couple co-op uh, gargoyle runs. Got a bunch of souls. Upgraded two sets of gear. The Elite Knight set and the Thief set. The Thief set because it allows me to be under the 25% equip load. <clears throat> then the Elite Knight set because it has poise on it. I don't know that I've said anything about poise yet. Poise prevents your character from getting uh, staggered when you get hit. So the higher your poise, the more likely it is that you can continue attacking <clears throat> even when you're getting hit. I think I'm going to stick with the Hullbrid, even though it's just a tiny bit weaker than a store of sword at the moment. I'm going to stick with it because the move set is just better. <clears throat> We're going to be heading down into the into Blight Town, past the depths. To take out Quaylog and ring the second bell. same area as us. <clears throat> Let's see, what was I doing? Okay. Just want to make sure my save spot is there. Let's drop that boulder helm. Don't need that. I do, however, need the black leather gear equipped and a rusted iron ring. Now, <clears throat> this uh, black leather or thief set, I believe has... Yeah, it has fairly good poison resist on it compared to the Elite Knight set. <clears throat> Where we're going, there's quite a bit of poison. This right here are the remains of the Golden Knight Latrec, who we kicked off the edge earlier. Taking the shortcut. Taking the shortcut because <clears throat> I don't really like the depths, which is the zone that you normally have to go through. If you'll remember after the Copra Demon went into that uh, area with those butcher looking people. That is the entrance of the depths which is sort of a sewer. I 
hope we have enough moss. Didn't really save up on moss. Most people don't really like <clears throat> this area. Oh, dang it, no. Don't auto target the flies while I'm trying to block things. That was almost very bad. Alright, guys. You <clears throat> see right here, there are a bunch of these guys with blow darts. The blow darts cause an incredibly powerful uh, toxic poison damage effect. Which actually goes right through most shields. Except for the spider shield. Which is the reason why I use it. There we go. One of them fell down. Ooh. That one dart more than half filled up my toxic bar. <clears throat> How the toxin works is if the bar fills all the way up, you get the toxic effect, which can very quickly does pretty much your entire hit point bar three times. Well, three times is a guess, but about that much. Whoop. Okay. We're gonna have to think of a good way to get by that guy who fell. Step one. Kill these dogs. Ah. Oh. Well then. I don't think I can really hit them. So, we're gonna try... that. Oh yeah, the dogs breathe fire. It's pretty great. Hit by the poison darts. There we go. This is also a little nerve wracking because I am in human form in a place where I have not killed the boss. I can actually be invaded at any point. So what is it that I'm doing in here? Trying... <coughs> Oh, 
probably should have used the heal instead of a flask. I'm trying to get a firekeeper soul. Now the next time we're at Firelink, we can upgrade to the plus three assist flask. are kind of funny. So look down there. Oh. Never mind. Gotta keep moving here. Gotta always keep moving in this place of those Damn flies. Damn, damn flies. They just keep coming, keep coming. There is actually a infinite number of flies. Mildred, hello. This is actually a a scripted invasion. But that's pretty much how invasions usually go. the bonfire <clears throat> and get some level ups because you never want to be caught carrying too many souls now there's a bit of stuff to do here but the first thing I'm going to do is kill the boss. Just so that I can eliminate the invasion factor. Now you'll notice I can run normally through this uh, swampy area here. Without the iron ring, my speed would be cut in about half. Do get poisoned. Woo. Get in this cave before the rock guys throw stuff at me. Poison is very similar to toxic, except it does the damage much, much, much slower. Eat some purple moss. Cast a heal. What do these notes say? Imminent hope. Be wary of attacking. That is a good note right there. If you attack these guys, they explode into a bunch of worms. And you don't actually have to kill them. They're just kind of peacefully sitting there. For this fight, you're able to summon uh, Maneater Mildred if you have defeated her. <clears throat> now, you may be wondering about the crazy outfit and the gear. It's actually supposed to be a joke, 
by the developers in uh, Demon's Souls there was a PvP build that used these items so they put in a encounter uh, using that getup now I think I'm going to want to switch to yeah the elite knight armor in order to get my fire defense up do I want the I'll stick with the spider shield it's a uh, fire defense is okay and I've upgraded a bit and here we have the boob monster Hello, Quailog. Oh, that's all the damage I do? Well, this may take a while. Ooh. Is it Mildred? Distract her just long enough for me to. Oh, jeez. Could not get out of that in time. This fight is going to be very tough because I did not upgrade any of my items past level 5. Mostly because that would have required me to come down here and fight some of the enemies. And I wanted to do all of that on camera. Alright, come on, Quaylog. Trying to switch back and forth between two-handed and one-handed combat. Oh jeez. This is not good. Get unlocked on. Let's... Nope. I can't roll through that. That's what I was trying to avoid right there, was her doing that explosion. Well, that was kind of lame. I couldn't go either direction, and if I stayed there much longer, she was going to explode. Not a problem.
probably should have kindled that earlier. Let's put the rusted iron ring back on. Oh hey. Maybe I can summon this guy. Unlikely though. Like I said earlier, the multiplayer on PC has issues. Oh! But apparently it worked that time. Maybe they've... Maybe they've fixed things. I'm sure the other guy is getting in. Oh, I better heal that guy. One thing about multiplayer is that you do not have the ability to heal yourself. You rely entirely on the person who summoned you. Yeah, see, so the other summoning failed. healed up. Alright, we should be good to go. It does look a little laggy. Oh. I think I'm... That guy just put a fairly impressive enchant on their weapon. Jeez! Holy... That... Or is that... No, I'm not sure if that's the enchant I'm thinking of. The best thing to do in this situation is probably for me to stand back and use my plus five bow. If at any point the people I've summoned take too much damage, I can just heal them like that. But if I'm in the middle of combat, Oh jeez. If I'm in the middle of combat, then I might no I might not notice them getting hurt, or I might get knocked down and not be able to heal in time. It should be bad for everyone involved. Oh, it's not the block button. Twenty thousand souls. And I got everything I lost back. Time to ring the bell.
Hey, remember that door where we met the knight who looked like he was wearing an onion? That's the door. Right down the path from the blacksmith. That is Sen's Fortress. And we're going to be going there shortly. First, we're going to go pay a visit to Koilog's sister. Right after we get past one of her minions. The people who worship these spider people carry eggs on their backs and on their heads. It's really pretty gross. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Yes. I am totally a new servant. Mm. But you have no eggs. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Disgusting. And here is Quaylog's sister. Who is dying. And you cannot understand her unless you're wearing a special ring. And that ring reveals some rather depressing things. She talks about how she's in constant pain, how she thinks the eggs are all dead. She's blind. She can't tell who you are. She thinks that you're her sister whenever you talk to her. Yeah, sad stuff. Now, I think the best thing to do at this point is to finally go and get a couple large shards and a couple green shards. Now, what are the green and the large shards? Uh, the large titanite shards allow you to continue upgrading an item along the normal path, the standard physical damage. So if I want to get my plus 5 halberd up to a plus 10 halberd, I'm going to need a total of 9 large shards. The green shards are used for magic enchanted or divine enchanted weapons. And I'm thinking I'm going to make this Holbrid a divine weapon. Because I'm going to need one anyways to get through the skeleton zone. And a divine weapon is not a horrible thing to have at this point. shard. So interesting to note, the two spider ladies who we just killed are daughters of the Witch of Isolith. You'll remember in the opening cinematic, the three people who got a Lord Soul were Gwyn, the Witch of Isolith, and Grave Lord Nito, the First of the Dead. So, near the end of the Age of Fire, well, the Age of Fire is technically still going, but as the Age of Fire began to die, 
the Witch of Isolith tried to find a way to replace the Lord Souls and began experimenting with various magics. She turned herself and her daughters into monsters. It was not intentional. Then later on, pyromancy was invented by humans to sort of replace the old magics. Now, I'm gonna need to do a couple of these runs to get uh, a proper amount of shards. But I will show basically one of these runs with a general idea of what this entails. Skip those jerks. I think the, that's the Pyromancer starting gear over there. These guys. These guys are awesome. Those worm monsters drop uh, large shards and green shards. They're a perfect monster to kill for this point in the game. Anything? Nothing on that guy. Oops. Let's get you and you. Anything yet? They'll drop something. Never had one of these runs yield nothing. You'll also note that I dropped my uh, summoning sign before embarking on this little trip. Usually, since it takes so long to get summoned, a good thing to do is to drop your summon sign somewhere where you're saving up. Then after a few minutes, you get summoned, but you weren't wasting your time while waiting. Nothing. Ah, like that. Well then. I need to equip my moss. I'm going to use this so I stop taking so much damage while waiting. Ha! Huh. This person went through the depths. You can tell because they're currently wearing... What is that set called? It's like the shadow something. Oh, hey! They haven't killed Maneater Mildred yet. Oh. This guy has better weapons than I do. the rocks. Yeah. 
and we'll fight Quaylog again. I wonder if a stars does two more damage or not. It's hard to judge because a stars sword does half physical, half magic. And since it does two types of damage, its damage re is reduced twice. So you never really know, or at least I never really know. There are ways to tell, but they all require various formulas typed into spreadsheets, and I never bothered to look that stuff up. the host healing me. Massive AoE. Oh, this gets a little bit of healing going. I really need to upgrade these weapons. <laughs> just back up. No, the host. No. Oh. Bad news bears. Well, sometimes that's how it goes. Everything was going fine until you got one shot. Oh, still not good. Just a couple more. There we go. Usually these runs are a lot more profitable. Oh, I think it's because my item find is low. Let's see. Item discovery is currently at 180. The base is around 100, I think. Uh, various things increase it, like the five humanity that I got in the top left raise the item find rate. Not the most productive farming run. But that's basically what I'm going to be doing. 
I need to get nine green shards. And I'll probably get a handful of large shards so that I can upgrade my shield. Maybe upgrade my armor a little. The Oh, I do have a couple large shards and I can do my armor right now. I'm going to need the Elite Knight set as high as I can get it for the next area. Uh, the Thief set is nice for when you're running around and need to go fast, but uh, the Elite Knight is much better for when I know I'm going to get hit, and I am going to get hit in the next area. So yeah, just going to save up a little, and then we will head off to Sen's 